Hello everybody. Today we're going to give you a ulti update. Um, basically updating the holdings for this week and the holdings going forward. So this could be one of the last times I produce these videos. Uh, for one, you know, I'm, I'm moving my content back to the automotive content, but I'm still going to have some investment videos from time to time. And <clears throat> Corey is doing a great job with the ulti videos and the only thing she wasn't doing was the um, the holdings update, and now she's uh, included that. So they, uh, I don't see much advantage to having two of us do it. And <clears throat> I'm probably going to get rid of this stock. So let's just talk about that real fast. So uh, ULTY, I bought on opening day for $20 a share, and then it started to drop. So I averaged down, and... I wound up with 80 shares at $19.62. So today it's up 14 cents and we don't see this stock go up much. We see it go down. Well, it seems like it goes down twice as much as it goes up. So uh, currently my losses are, you know, under a hundred dollars. So I'm feeling pretty fortunate today and we'll talk about the holdings and why I might get out today, but I'm just having flashbacks about the whole Tesla deal. So I watched everybody buy in at Tesla at $20 a share on opening day. And, you know, I waited until the, the share price was $9. So I bought in at $9 and then it did the reverse split. So I thought I would be okay because it was so cheap, but you can see I'm still down $168. But the people that got in on opening day, they're just very unhappy. And now I feel like I've done the same thing with uh, Ulti. I got in on opening day and I'm watching the stock. You know, it's just very volatile. So, you know, people talk about what is the next yield max stock to reverse split. And some people say it's going to be Tesla again. And some people say it's OARC. But I think that ULTY is going to be a, a third um, you know, in third place on the podium for, you know, waiting to get that reverse split. I could be wrong. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm just talking about what I'm going to do. And I know that there are other people um, in my situation. So I would like to hear whether you guys are in for the long haul or maybe you're going to get out too. So this today, this morning, Tuesday morning, I downloaded the holdings for ULTY and we have some changes uh, over the last time that I did the video. So I went through and I took out the positions that they closed and I'm going to quickly go over the positions that we currently hold um, in the uh, ULTI uh, portfolio. So we have ARM and they're currently up at 2.28%. We have a new position, Astria, I think maybe they were in at the opening and then they uh, sold that position and now it's back open and they are down 3.19%. We have CleanSpark, which has been with us since the beginning. They're up slightly. We have Coin, also been with us since the beginning and that is down 1.25. We have Carvana, big winner here today at up 3.35%. They have come and gone. They haven't been with us the whole time. And then this one they added last week, which is GameStop, and they have earnings this week. So currently the stock is down 1.26, but you can imagine if the earnings report is bad, this could really drag down Ulti with it. Now, maybe they're going to have good earnings and the stock will go up. You just, don't, you just never know. Uh, moving on, we've got Robinhood back in here. We have... Uh, Hut 8 Corp, and I looked it up. Let me see what, uh, I believe it's the, it's a cryptocurrency mining company. Okay, so we, last week we had Root, and Root is gone, but this year, I'm sorry, this week we have Hut, and then we have Mara, which is also, uh, you know, a mining operation for Bitcoin, and we have Mine Medicine, which has been with us for a while. We have MicroStrategy, another Bitcoin-related stock that's been with us from the beginning. RH is a um, 
restoration hardware and it's basically a home goods company you know they sell lighting and furniture and stuff for your home uh, we also have root and um, they are up 3.10 percent we have smci also has been come and gone since the beginning and they are up 1.75 percent we have syndax pharmaceuticals this is a returning position it was gone for a while and another returning position is Viking Therapeutics. So I'm really glad to see this one is back. You know, if you remember, Viking Therapeutics makes that weight loss drug. It's called Wagovi. And they just can't make enough of it. And today the stock is up is 23.67%. Uh, so they're, they might be providing me with an, a rare opportunity where uh, ULTY has gone up a little bit. We have a lot of red, we have a lot of green, but Viking is pulling us up um, and we're currently up 14 cents. We also have Labu, which has also been with us since the beginning. It's up 1.45%. So now you can uh, take a look at my watch list. You can make your own watch list. And then when you see Ulti diving down into the red, you'll, you'll be able to figure out which one of these stocks is pulling us down. And Again, I hope that you guys will comment and let me know, are you into this stock for the long haul or are you thinking about getting out like me? So again, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I hope that you'll come back for additional videos. Subscribe and hit the notification button and have a great day. Thank you.